everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually right outside Borough Market right now. I just came from a PT session. I have a PT that I go to near London Bridge. So I just thought I would swing on by and have a little look. Now the market's not actually fully open yet because it is just after nine and the market opens from 10. But there's still a few stalls open and stuff. So it's been nice to have a little wander around and it's not crazy busy. I've never been to Borough Market and it not be crazy busy. I know it's loud right now because there's lots of stuff going on around me, but I, I thought we would just have a little wander around. But first I think I need some coffee. So I'm gonna head into Monmouth Coffee Company. They do some really good coffee here. So right at the entrance is the Ginger Pig and uh, they apparently do world famous sausage rolls, but they look amazing and this smells amazing now i recognize the name ginger pig but i think more so for the butchery and i'm pretty sure i've got some steak from there before but i mean it smells so so good but i feel like <laughs> i feel like i can't get a massive sausage roll right after doing my workout or i don't know just cancel that out i know that's not really a thing but i feel like i'm like really craving something healthy do you ever get that like when you've done a workout you just really want to eat something good and nourishing <laughs> so there is this bar here roast which is just on the left hand side as like came in the doors and they actually do an afternoon tea for 35 pound which is really good i've never been to it before so i can't recommend or anything but it's definitely a good price i imagine it gets quite busy like when the market's busy and stuff because it looks like a nice little hideaway from the craziness of the market so like i said yeah the market's not actually open just yet so um maybe i'll come back another time and actually just do I don't know, a dedicated vlog on this market because I feel like there's so much to look at. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm just gonna have a little peruse on through. Uh, definitely caught my eye these uh, drinks over here. If I didn't have my coffee, I would definitely pick one up, but I don't think I can deal with another uh, cup in my hand. I definitely won't be able to vlog anyway. But they have a mint lemonade, uh, which just gives me Disneyland vibes from the mint julep um, but then they've also got like the blue one and like super berry and oh they look so good oh they have a raspberry mint as well oh I bet that's really nice um, and you can see them coming in with like the legit fresh fish like this has been caught today so they say that it's like diver caught on the day yeah look day bow fresh fish and shellfish from bow to market so oh I bet this is amazing so the market has lots of like really good fresh fruit and veg stalls, but uh, just like the place we saw on the outside, you'll also find some really good fresh meat. Like the meat looks really, really good. This is a different butcher's Northfield farm, it's called. And oh, just eyeing up those steaks and everything on the way past. Uh, and then you'll also find lovely condiments and things. But one of the stalls that I really like here that I pretty much always come to, uh, or I guess one of the sections, because I do go to different stalls here, is um, over here where we have all the cheese. Um, so heritage. I've been to that stall before and picked up some nice cheese. I love Conte. That's like one of my favorite ones from this market. And I mean, like favorite types of cheese. I've got some really good Conte from this market. And uh, see, so you've got another cheese stall over here and also some amazing fresh bread stalls. So yeah, there's just so much to choose from. Like, <laughs> you could definitely do some damage here like and bring home it'd be great to come like if you were having people over and you wanted to make like a really fancy charcuterie board my coffee is so good by the way i went for their filter coffee and yeah it's just amazing I'm gonna head on over into the green market section. I'm actually quite hungry like so i am looking for something to eat but like i say i just wanted something i don't know a bit I guess a bit healthier than like a sausage roll or anything like that. But I do find like a lot of the food here is more geared towards lunch. Um, like obviously you have coffee shops and things like that. But um, yeah, in general, like the bulk of the food is more so like lunch style food, you know, like wraps and things like that. Uh, but let's see what we can find. Okay, so there's not actually much set up yet over this side. Uh, the drunk cheeses stand though, definitely interested in that. Uh, I'll definitely have to check that out next time I come. So I didn't really find anything that took my fancy for breakfast. So I'm gonna just head out and I'll grab something on the way. I'm actually now off to a dentist appointment. It's my last appointment for my Invisalign. So yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye to Borough Market, but definitely wanna come back like when it's properly open. And maybe again, like early, just after it opens, just that it's not nice and quiet like I say I've never seen it this quiet obviously it's not open yet but it does open soon like it opens in about half an hour 40 minutes but uh, I've got to get over to my appointment so I can't hang around but next time so I've actually just stumbled across this place called 
Malo, which is a vegan restaurant, and it looks like they have quite a cool menu. Now this is their, uh, I guess, evening lunch menu, but down here, if I look at the breakfast brunch menu, they've got this peanut butter and berry porridge, which is exactly what I was looking for. I was actually gonna go to Pret and get their porridge, but I really fancy just trying somewhere around here, you know, because like I go to Pret all the time. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. And uh, I quite like vegan porridge as well. Like I like it made with the non-dairy milk, <laughs> if that makes sense. And yeah, just peanut butter and berry, it's like perfect combination. So I'm gonna give that a go. I also had a little look on their Instagram and it looks like their food is very pretty. <laughs> Just at London Bridge Station, I'm gonna get the Jubilee over to Canary Wharf, which is where I have my dental appointment. It's quite far away from where I live now, but it's obviously where I used to live. So uh, yeah, it was handy back then. But this is my favorite line because it has the doors, so you can't fall onto the tracks. <laughs> All done with my appointment. I've now got my retainer, which uh, I have to wear, I think 16 hours a day, which I kind of wasn't expecting. I was expecting that I'd only wear this overnight, but apparently you start off with 16 hours a day and then it goes to overnight after about six months, I think. So I'm gonna now head on back home, back to Pumba. I always feel sad leaving him. Like I've only left him for a few hours to be fair, but yeah, I always feel a bit sad just leaving him, you know? And I'm always excited to get back and see him because he's always so excited to see me. I'm back at my flat now. I've had a shower and got into my coziest jumper. I honestly just wanna cuddle up and have a little nap. <laughs> but I have been working for the last few hours, but I wanted to show you guys my new sofa. And you have to promise not to laugh, right? It's a bit big. <laughs> so here it is. I told you it was massive, <laughs> but I promised myself when I was buying furniture for this flat that I would not buy furniture specifically for this flat, if that makes sense. Because my next step after this flat is to own my own place. So I really just wanted, if I was buying good furniture to just buy the furniture that I really wanted and not really think too much about the space. Like obviously it has to fit in here, but um, yeah, like sofas and stuff, they're not cheap. You know, if you're getting a good one, they're quite expensive. This one was from Furniture Village and I got it in the Black Friday sale, but uh, there was quite the long lead time. So I've now just got it delivered. I actually felt sorry for the guys that had to bring this up to the flat because I am upstairs. There's no, uh, whatchamacallit, there's no lift. So uh, yeah, I did feel kind of bad, but it's so worth it. I made them coffee and like gave them snacks and everything because actually when it came as well, there's like a, a connector down here that connects these two parts together. Like, and one is hooked kind of like that and the other one's hooked like that and they hook into each other. And one side of it was the wrong way around. So they were basically duplicates of each other so they wouldn't slot into each other. So they had to like remove it with a drill and like redo it and everything. So they were here for a little while, but uh, it's all perfect now and I'm so happy with it and it is so comfortable. I've just popped into M&S and I'm in one of my favorite aisles, which is where they have all of the deli items. I love these. They're so good for a little picnic. A few times I've met up with some friends for a little picnic, especially during the days when we could only meet in a park. And uh, yeah, these are some of my favorite things to get. These cheese rolls, like cheese wrapped in ham, and they're so good. They also have chorizo versions as well. But I'm gonna skip on through today because uh, although I do love this section, it's not great for me to have these kind of things in my fridge for just me. <laughs> they are more like of sharing things. Although like there are some, there are some good options, but I just know, I don't trust myself. I love those kind of picky bits and I just like, cannot portion control when I have that kind of stuff open. But, um, oh, what's this? A hand finished layered pork and chicken pie. Wow. It serves four tiny people? I don't know, that definitely, some, that's like a one person portion, what? I love these little packs of prawns. I've had these a few times, just on top of a bagel with some avocado or something, and oh, they're so nice. Oh, do you know what? I think I have to get some. Okay, they're three for seven. Let's just get two of this one. 
I haven't tried this one yet. I might try this one. Oh, but they do have these coronation chicken slices. I have been obsessed with coronation chicken since I had it at that Fordham and Mason afternoon tea. Oh, maybe I'll get one of those. Now, what I actually came in for was one of these handy little meals that I can just pop in the oven for myself later, just so that I have something really easy because I'm just feeling lazy today. Um, this shepherd's pie, the gastropub one, I'm thinking I might try one of these. I kind of fancy trying this and see if it's worth it to pay the extra for the gastropub version. This is the regular version, which is a pound cheaper. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try the gastropub version. They have all their bits out for Pancake Tuesday. They've even got a vegan pancake mix, like the plant kitchen. Would pancake mix normally not be vegan? It says just add non-dairy milk. Okay, so I guess it's made to like not have egg mixed in with it. I'm not sure if that'd be any different to a normal pancake mix, but they don't seem to have a normal mix. Like they've just got flour, caster sugar, eggs and stuff out. Normally, I'm sure they do like an actual batter that you can just pour from a tub. Maybe I'll see that somewhere else in the store, but they've got all their sauces and everything as well. They even have the pre-made pancakes if you're feeling like being super lazy, <laughs> um, which is probably what I would do if uh, my boyfriend wasn't gonna do them for me. <laughs> they have these uh, chalk chip versions as well, which is cool. Oh, and they've got these like mini pancakes as well. Oh, look, there it is. Fresh pancake batter. That's the one I was thinking of. That's um, like 2.20 for that, which is really handy. That, that's probably actually what I would get because you can just pour that straight. And I just like don't trust myself. I don't know if I've ever made pancake batter before. I know it's not the most complicated thing, but I would definitely go for the convenience of just buying the tub of it. I don't know why there's like some random chicken wings over here. <laughs> what do you guys put on your pancakes? So here they've got honey, sticky toffee sauce. They've got the Percy Pig dessert sauce. I've tried this before. It is super sweet. I really don't like it. It's way too sweet. They've got a golden blonde chocolate spread and then they've got a chocolate hazelnut cream. So I guess that's like a Nutella. I am actually a really plain lemon and sugar kind of person when it comes to my pancakes. I will have like a, if I'm having a crepe, like I'll throw a bit of Nutella on there or something, but, or maybe like a little bit of sauce. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's actually got this, the sticky toffee sauce, which would be nice. And sometimes I'll throw a bit of fruit and stuff on there, but like, I'm quite happy just having lemon and sugar. I'm actually gonna grab some lemons just in case he hasn't already got one. Or maybe I just need one lemon. Is one lemon enough? It probably is, isn't it? No, go on, I'll get a pack of them just in case. The bakery section at M&S, as always, is amazing. I'm just gonna like walk on by and just catch a little whiff. Also, the crisp section, it's pretty awesome as well. Right, let's check out all of the Easter goodies that they have in. Oh, they've got this cute little chirpy chick, a little chocolate chick, and then they've got all these speckled eggs, a bubbly bunny. I think that's kind of like bubble, like aero chocolate, that kind of thing. A giant speckled egg bar. Wow. Um, some hot cross bun whips. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's nearly given me the kind of, like it reminds me of Hotel Chocolat, their kind of style of chocolate. Extremely chocolatey, six Easter egg cookies. Oh, yummy. Easter spiced biscuits. Harry the Hedgehog. Oh, he's quite cute, isn't he? Oh, and then we've got Inky the Octopus. Bella the Bunny. They love their alliteration around here, don't they? Charlie the Bunny. Walter the Sausage Dog. Oh, wow, look at him. Isn't he cute? Oh, it's really hard to see because of the reflection of the light. Can you see him? He's so cute. Pumba's always meeting little sausage dogs. Oh look, the picture's probably better. Pumba's always meeting little sausage dogs when we're out on his walks. I think loads of people got sausage dogs in the pandemics or like Dachshunds, right? That's what they're called, that's the actual breed. And um, they have the Ombalds again this year, Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, they've got this little case of chocolatey eggs as well. And then a little hollow milk chocolate egg. They're only a pound. They'd be good if you're doing like a little Easter egg hunt or something. Or these little ones. Oh, look at these ones. Oh, they're perfect. These little hide and seek egg hunt. Yeah, that's clearly what they're for. We've got this little bucket as well of eggs. And then they've got their big cojones. <laughs> um, yeah, so they've got this. I, 
I cannot remember. Me and my boyfriend were talking about this the other day. I'm pretty sure it was a Waitrose egg that I got that was absolutely disgusting. Because um, I generally like M&S chocolate. But it was something like this. Like it was one of their big fancy ones. Um, but yeah, these ones sound really nice though. Like golden blonde chocolate and pistachio egg. Milk chocolate egg with truffles. Dark chocolate egg with truffles. What is this? Unique hand decorated Belgian chocolate egg. The drippy egg. Oh, that looks quite cool, doesn't it? So those big ones are like 15 quid. Oh, the drippy one's only a tenner. And then this Belgian chocolate floral egg is 15 as well. Oh, and then look, they have different versions of the drippy egg. It, it looks like the same egg, it's just in a different color tin. And they've got more Percy Pigs. Oh, honestly, they do Percy Pig to death these days. Um, they've got the two of them hugging there for a tenner and then they've got an Easter egg for a fiver. Oh, and a cereal milk egg. That's kind of cool looking and that's eight quid. So yeah, they've got a good selection. The prices are actually all right as well. I am really tempted by the Dash one. He's only a fiver as well, that's not bad. And those ones over there, they were all a fiver, like the octopus one, the hedgehog, the bunny. Like, I think that's quite good. Those bunnies look quite big as well. Yeah, that's decent. Oh, I want everything though, that's the problem. I'm not gonna buy anything today. <laughs> Um, I think I said this in the last one as well, like, I'm not the kind of person that can buy an Easter egg and save it for Easter. It's just not going to work. These little bags though, <laughs> these are quite cute. Chicky chocky speckled eggs. They kind of look like mini eggs, don't they? And they're just one quid for the bag as well. M&S always have the best hot cross bun selection. We always come here to get ours every year. Uh, I've noticed they have a few different ones this year though. So they've got this Marmite one. They've got an extremely chocolatey one, an extremely cheesy one. I'm sure they had a cheesy one before, but I don't think it was extremely cheesy. <laughs> and these ones are all two for 250 at the moment, which is good. And um, they've got this golden blonde, chocolate and salted caramel, a Bramley apple one, a blueberry one. Um, they're all the same, like two for 250 as well. Nine mini luxury fruited hot cross buns. Oh, they're quite cute. I feel like, how would you do them though? Like, cause you, I normally do them in the toaster. Wouldn't you lose them in the toaster? <laughs> um, I don't think they have like the standard chocolate one though, which is the one that I normally get. I see they have this one like with the salted caramel as well, but normally just their regular chocolate one is my favorite. Oh, look guys, they have a girl sausage dog right up beside the tail. She's also five pounds. But look, she's got a cute little pink nose. That's so cute. That shepherd's pie was so, so good. I think it was definitely worth the extra pound. Uh, I am actually gonna get myself and Pumba to bed though, so I guess I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier actually as well, the porridge that I had, the vegan porridge was absolutely amazing. It was so, so good. It actually defeated me though, I couldn't finish it, but it was so tasty, it was so creamy. Oh, it was exactly what I wanted. I was so glad I actually found that place and didn't just go like to prep or something like that. Yeah, it was so good. So highly recommend if you're in the area. I think I just got really lucky because it was so early that it wasn't busy, but I actually think it's quite a popular place. So it was a nice one to stumble across. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm gonna get myself to bed. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will have, I think next week, a pack-in vlog coming for you guys for Disneyland Paris, and then I'll have some Disneyland Paris vlogs. So yeah, by the time you're watching this, I am gonna be done with my Disneyland Paris trip. And so yeah, there'll be Disneyland Paris vlogs coming very, very soon, which I'm very excited about. I'm very excited for me to go more so than the vlogs. <laughs> obviously <laughs> um, but yeah I haven't been to Paris in so long so yeah I'm really excited and I'm going with two of my good friends so it's gonna be such a laugh I can't wait but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time bye <laughs>